hydroponics, water is not replaced but rather topped up. However, Mzee Katuramo says he drains the remaining water every after two weeks, which he then waters onto the vegetables and gives his animals. There are a few primary methods of aquaponic growing widely in use today. Deep water culture. This method is most appropriate for growing salad greens and other fast growing relatively low nutrient plants. Media best aquaponics. Particularly good for home use. Large fruiting plants do really well in addition to leafy greens and herbs. Nutrient film technique. NFT. Vertical aquaponics. Plants are stacked on top of each other in the tower system. This form works very well with leafy greens, strawberries and other crops that do not require support to grow. Having an aquaponic project around your home could be more beneficial than one could imagine. It is an ecosystem supporting fish, plants and animals making it a 360 degree productive system. This was how Mzeika Turam was encouraged to start up his piggery project, creating an additional income. Yeah, I have uh, 20 pigs. I use water from the fish pond. It is used by the pigs for drinking. Piggery is good when you, you, you feed it well, you get the profit. Because uh, a small pig, the baby is at a around 100, the big one from 400 and above, the grown up. The fish variety to keep in aquaponics will depend on the purpose. The most common fish to grow are tilapia. They are most common in aquaponics because they are easy to grow. Baramundi, the giant Asian patch and Australian sea bass. It is preferred for its clean fresh taste and white meat. Catfish. There are many different types of catfish, but the most common species in aquaponics is the channel catfish. They prefer warm water, just like the first two. Carp. Goldfish. Goldfish are ornamental fish and often occur as pets or are shown in aquariums. These are not meant for food, but for beauty. Currently, prices for fish have gone really high. Looking at buying one piece of Nile tilapia from 20,000 to 50,000 shillings in any local market. One kilo of the Nile patch at 20,000 to 30,000 shillings. In fact, the saying today that fish nowadays is for the rich may not be far from true. But with innovations such as the aquaponic system, you too can rear as much fish for both your family and community at an absolutely affordable price. And that's of course when you choose to rear it yourself in the aquaponic way. Mm, one fish of uh, one kilogram sells one fifteen thousand at our local market. Normally, I, 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 I use it for food here, for my family and the friends. Mm. Yes. Better still, substituting the big fish with the small fish, such as Mokene and Enkeje, as we saw at the farm clinic. This could help solve nutritional deficiencies and improve incomes for subsistence farmers. Mukene, some of you call it omena. It's one of the small fishes we have in most of our lakes in Uganda. And uh, it's now becoming very common, even for human consumption, because of the value. People have now learned how to handle it well. They dry it on racks. It's no longer the fish that used to be dried in the on the ground. So it has attracted a lot of interest from consumers. One, it's highly nutritious in zinc and calcium and protein, which is really good for enhancing our health, and especially for women in the reproductive age. 
it's good for expectant mothers as well as children. So we have a project, the Nutrifish, which is a project that is undertaken by NARO, the NAFIRI, the National Fishery Resources Research Institute, together with Makere University, College of Natural Sciences, in the Department of Zoology and Fish Sciences. And then we have Nutriel. Nutriel is a private sector that does value addition to food. One of the objectives is to give people an opportunity to consume the underutilized fish, the mukenes, the ankeges, the ragogis. These are the small fishes that you can eat 100%. You have no part of it to waste. You eat the bones, you eat the head, you eat everything about it. And this is where the zinc is, this is where the calcium is. But equally important, it will enhance our nutrition. It will also give people the opportunity to realize that there is a market opportunity in using the underutilized fish. So you'll have more women having more jobs, more youth having more jobs, because of the value chain that comes across with this fish, the underutilized fish. Now here there is fish powder, mukene powder. Then we have mukene and peanut. These are ready-to-use products, highly nutritious, but also available now in the market. Because people now believe you can eat fish in any form. With Nutriel, we would like to do fish biscuits, we would like to do fish soups, we want to do fish tablets. We want to make snacks that are enhanced with fish nutrients for people to eat at any time. So that fish doesn't seem to be something that you eat once in a while, but you can eat it with breakfast, with lunch, with dinner. And as you're working, you keep on snacking away on fish. So that we really get that zinc and calcium that people really need. Yeah. Fight hunger. Fight poverty. You can practice farming in any given space, even as small as your backyard.